Hi guys. I've been meaning to do this for quite a while, but um, I thought I'd give a background to what's brought me to e-bikes and my journey to to this point um, with two wheels being my, my background. So I guess it all starts with my dad and these pictures are of him when he was a bit younger and right up to almost modern day where he'd been involved in trials, motocross and two wheel sport in general and I was fortunate enough in my later or in his later years that uh, we managed to ride together even doing a little bit of motocross together um, in the early sort of 2000s and both of us being fairly successful I guess uh, here's us at a trials um, presentation night and more latterly um, he played a big part in building bikes for me he was a great engineer and unfortunately we lost him last year so this is a little bit about him as well so uh, wheels for me started really young. Um, here's my first pictures of me with bikes I ever had. Uh, did a little bit of school motor motocross, but not a great deal. And then got involved in BMX right in the early days of BMX in the UK. Um, certainly uh, in the early 80s at Redditch. Uh, had one of the first UK uh, BMX licenses and was then picked up to ride on the very first Halfords BMX team uh, back in about 80, 81. Uh, travelled around the UK quite a bit, a um, bit of success uh, while we travelled around. And um, then at the end of the first season of BMX in the UK, I was picked up by Hotshot and I rode for them for quite a bit of the, the time I raced BMX. Uh, finished uh, sixth in the first national series. Um, it was all about just riding our bikes together really, but uh, I guess we didn't really train, we just rode. Um, I rode mostly in the Midlands and was Midlands number one for quite a few years. Uh, as I say, number six in the Nationals and then started riding for Patterson through Hotshot, um, where again, I had a national number two in MB MBMXA. And during that time, I'd finished sec uh, third in the British Championships in 83 and uh, rode the NBMXA National Series, uh, finishing second uh, in the, the first series of NBMXA, um, whilst still flipping between riding uh, UK BMX and NBMXA, uh, mostly uh, in the, the, the NBMXA series. Uh, and then the last couple of years, or the last year or so, I rode for Vector, and um, then rode for myself really for the last uh, the last few months uh, on my own bike in in no particular team's gear, uh, finishing uh, second in the British Championships in eighty four, and then f uh, packing in BMX really early eighty five. I then had a few years where I joined the forces and was a military policeman for about ten years. Uh, didn't really ride any bikes, um, certainly not. Uh, not bicycles. I uh, did a little bit of um, a bit of enduro and rode uh, the military um, Canams and Armstrongs that uh, that they supplied uh, for exercise. Uh, but the main sport I did when I was in the army was football, um, which ended up being the uh, the reason why I ended up leaving the forces uh, after about ten years after damaging my knee. So. Uh, once I left the forces, um, I started riding a bit of mountain bikes again. I hadn't really touched mountain bikes up until this point. Um, so about 94, 95, I started racing uh, mountain bikes, a bit of downhill, a bit of cross country. Um, got a little bit of help from uh, from Proflex uh, to race cross country and downhill. Um, this picture is at the Mulvans Classic, uh, racing the, uh, the, I think it's the Jewel Eliminator or something like that. Um, and then started riding motorbike trials, um, rode modern trials for quite a few years to be honest with you um got reasonably good got to expert status um didn't probably enjoy it quite as much as uh, as mountain biking or cycling because of the the fact that you in trials you're very much on your own um you go out and you're on the bike all day um but you know i enjoyed it all the same um this is me at a dougie lampkin trial school i uh, also did a little bit of enduro i got a kdx 200 and then a wr 200 uh, yamaha um which was quite a nice little bike actually i rode uh, some enduros and some motocross on that with the lights off um but then 
came back to uh, to bicycles and started riding mountain bikes. Uh, at that time, I lived in Lancashire, so we were on the edge of the uh, the sort of Rivington Pike where we lived. So we were we were out most weekends on on mountain bikes and a um, bit of time up on the. Uh, the Seven Stains trails up in the Scottish borders, which weren't too far away. Uh, this was actually at Landegla. Um, and then uh, started to spend a bit more time, I uh, wanted to spend a bit more time with my dad. Uh, he was getting on in years and still riding, so I uh, started riding classic trials bikes. And uh, over the next uh, probably four or five years, um, my dad built some fantastic bikes for me, and we contested the Sammy Miller uh, Classic Trial Series and uh, the Midlands have a, uh, a, a championship called the BMCA. Uh, so I rode a lot of BMCA trials in the Midlands. And these pictures now are from my time riding classic trials. And as you can see, the, the bikes that Dad turned out for me were absolutely superb. Um, certainly uh, helped a lot with, with any of the results that I had. Um, I had a little bit of time doing Twin Shock, and we'll come back to that. But uh, this is one of the last pre-65 classic bikes my dad made for me which is a 250 bsa which I had some really good results on um i had a very small amount of time riding a big aerial but it didn't really get on with that i preferred the smaller lighter bikes and uh, then dad decided we were going to go do a bit of motocross so um as per the picture that you saw a bit earlier of the two of us uh, i rode a 360 bull taco in the pre-74 class this is at hawkston park and we were flicking between riding classic trials and uh, sorry, trials and motocross. And I decided that by then that I wanted to do a bit of uh, twin shock. So we built a, um, an SWM and then a Fantic, which uh, again contested in the Sammy Miller twin shock series, which uh, was pretty good. I uh, really enjoyed that. And uh, then when dad stopped riding, um, we started riding a little bit of, uh, of bikes on the road. Um, I had a 600 Yamaha followed by a uh, a 1200 cc yamaha trail bike a, a super tenere and uh, i did a little bit of touring on that this is uh, me just setting off for the isle of man tt um but uh didn't particularly enjoy riding on the road found it a bit dangerous so uh came back to uh to starting to ride bicycles again um first of all got a mountain bike and then i started riding on the road which i'd never really done but i joined a, a local road club called uh, green bike riders and the uh, the group of lads were quite good good fun um we got out and uh rode in groups quite a lot around the uh, the worcestershire area and obviously with that comes getting fitter and and starting to enjoy cycling again um quite certainly quite enjoyed the uh, the group rides and managed to get out and do quite a bit of uh, a bit of road riding quite a few miles under my belt always kept a, a mountain bike in the in the uh, the stable if you like um but Managed to get out and see quite a bit. This was at the Tour de France start up in Yorkshire, and managed to ride some of the uh, the events up, oh, the, the the parts of the tour up there. Um, did a little bit of cyclocross. Um, if anyone's ever tried cyclocross, you'll know just how hard that is. I didn't particularly uh, enjoy it, but it was always uh, my one one time a year to go out and have a ride. And um, yeah, I quite enjoy building bikes. So you'll see that uh, my bikes change fairly frequently. I had a bunch of Ritter, which is an American brand, um, for a few Cannondales with a bit of help from uh, a friend that uh, I used to be sponsored by with BMX. He used to uh, help me with uh, bikes at the right price and managed to get out and see quite a bit. Um, did uh, the uh, the Durham to Edinburgh run, um, did the London 100. Uh, this is me at the top of Box Hill. Um, and again, started to ride a, a, a cross bike to get out and uh, and train during the winter. We then moved to Edinburgh and I joined a, a cycling club up there called Rond. And again, started to see the sights around uh, the Edinburgh area and uh, quite enjoyed that uh, that period of time riding on the road. Uh, but I think my, uh, my love for riding off-road was probably a little bit greater. So um, every now and again, I would flick back and do a bit of cyclocross. Um, maybe just the uh, the thing in the back of my head that I needed to ride off the road or go and hurt myself a little bit. Um, didn't do it very often, but uh, certainly quite enjoyed doing that. And then um, the road riding stopped having the appeal. Um, the cold days out and long days out were soon taken over again by, by a bit of mountain biking and fun in the mud 
riding with mates. And uh, and then about three or four years ago, I got my first e-bike after, like everyone else, slagging them off and saying it was for old people or cheats. But I realised it actually just bridged the gap between riding motorbikes and mountain bikes. And the fun we've had on e-bikes has uh, certainly taken over and I haven't got an awful lot of time to train and keep really fit to re- thoroughly enjoy the, the normal mountain bike. So the e-bike just slots in there perfectly. It, uh, it's a bit like green laning, I guess. You can go out and enjoy the uh, the day with your mates, all the different fitness levels. And uh, the bikes have now gone through Levo, Canevo, um, Rocky Mountain, um, which I really enjoyed. The Rocky Mountain was uh, was really super bike. And now I'm back on a Levo. But the thing that uh, that has really brought this home, putting this together, is just how much fun I've had riding with other people. Um, certainly, we had the wife out on road bikes and mountain bikes. Um, she thoroughly enjoyed going out in the forests up in Scotland on her on her e bike, um, meeting up with new groups of lads that I'd n- never met before. Um, but also going back to riding with some of the mates that I rode with in the mid nineties, um, and it was almost like yesterday. Uh, this is. Uh, Adrian and the next picture is a group of us that uh, um, were actually on the original Halfords BMX team back in the early 80s and we've got back together and uh, ride a little bit. Um, Some of the crossover with some of my uh, motorcycle trials friends, Marty came over from Ireland to ride. Um, Daryl is a mate that now lives in Australia that that we used to ride together and this group of lads we call ourselves the Gentleman's Riding Club. Um, we've been riding together, as I say, since the mid-90s and uh, and still getting out regularly now. Um, some of the other mates that uh, I've come across along the way that have become good friends through road and uh, and mountain bikes. And uh, even this chappy who uh, wasn't even born when I started riding with his dad, Dave. Um, so it goes around in a big circle and the fun we've had is, uh, is immense. Um, this uh, next picture coming up of the three of us on road bikes, the three of us used to race BMX at a good level back in the early 80s and we've even met up to go for a road ride together. It shows you never really lose it. And the fun you can also have on uh, on road trips. This was a recent trip down to Exmoor that, that we all had as a, as a group. And that brings us up to the current day and my latest bike, uh, which is a pretty trick Levo. Uh, but as you can see... Um, the the fun that you can have cycling in general but the more recently the the enjoyment of riding e-bikes is uh, is certainly one idea uh, i can only recommend to people and i hope that uh, looking at my uh, my channel you'll uh, you'll see some uh, an awful lot more of the uh, the adventures on e-bikes that uh, that are there to come keep watching and uh, subscribe thank you